Being gender transformative makes for better business. 61% of companies that IDH works with in the agricultural, forestry and fishing sectors reported that gender diverse policies have contributed to increased profits and productivity. But what does it mean to incorporate gender in your business model? And how can you get started? We see three types of gender business models in practice – unintentional, intentional and transformative. A gender unintentional business model takes no steps to understand the different needs and preferences of men, women and non-binary people and does not set any targets to address gender barriers. In a gender intentional model, the different needs and constraints of women, men and non-binary people are considered. Steps are taken to meet their different needs, but the model does not seek to change gender norms or barriers. Finally, a gender transformative model designs the different needs and constraints of women, men and non-binary people, fosters change in individual capacities, gender norms and expectations, institutional rules and practices, and addresses the root causes of gender inequality. Businesses work towards gender transformative models for different reasons. For some, it's about improving their sourcing, gaining a wider client base, attracting and retaining talent, or simply improving the lives of others. To achieve gender transformative business, companies use different strategies, such as thought leadership frameworks, adjusting workplace policies, data collection and analysis, design of products and services, and by partnering with others. For example, MasterCard has adjusted work schedules, tweaked job profiles and recruiting policies for women. By doing so, they are now attracting and retaining better and more motivated staff. FMS Farms is another great example. An agribusiness focused on cassava and vegetables in Nigeria, offering women access to land and supporting them to improve their skills as well as providing access to inputs and services and funds independently from their husbands. Aside from being good for the local community, FMS Farms' gender transformative model has also been good for business, increasing employee loyalty. In addition to benefiting business, becoming gender transformative can also come with trade-offs and requires investment with longer-term return horizons. Systemic issues will not change overnight, but we can create this change together. We have joined forces to create a roadmap for businesses that want to be bold, build evidence, generate buy-in and create allies in this journey towards gender transformative business. Join us in making business better.